After a long wait, Paralyze has actually dropped a new trailer. So today we're going to be taking a look at that new trailer, looking at some picture frame customization and some new exciting build by items. Before we go ahead and get started though, my name is Simmer Aaron. I cover Sims 4 news, speculation, info videos, as well as of course, Paralyze. And my question for you today is, what do you think of this new video? What details did you notice that I probably missed? And what would you like to see next from Paralyze? So as always, I have terrible timing and I decided to take a walk for some stress relief and Paralyze drops this random video. Now it has been a hot minute since we got a Paralyze video. So of course I am happy to see that they uploaded something. I do apologize that I am a little bit on the late side. Today we're gonna to be looking at picture frame customization, but I just wanna react. I actually haven't watched much of it. I watched about two seconds of it. So I'm gonna live react to this. And then I'm also going to point out some details that I noticed that I think are really interesting. Now do keep in mind, build by mode is not my number one thing. My number one priority, of course, is for gameplay and for personality, but I still do appreciate these updates and keep in mind, it probably is going to be a while until we see actual gameplay. So anyway, we're gonna go ahead and I'm going to react to this and then let me know if you notice any details that I didn't happen to notice because I would love to hear your opinions. So right here, of course, this is the video. Let's just go ahead and take a look at it. Just at this freeze frame right here, there's a lot going on. So we do notice the accessory pillows, which I think are really neat. I wonder if you'll be able to customize those at all. I also noticed that there are some coffee mugs right here. I'm hoping we'll get some information on how much of this is clutter versus how much is usable. I'm sorry, they're actually teacups because I'm an idiot and this is a tea kettle. And then of course there's like a book that's out here. We see a couple books here. So again, lots of clutter. I'm sure someone's going to point out the vent. I do not know if they're gonna actually have functional AC or heating. I personally don't care that much, but I think it's a really nice detail. And then of course we see the little lights hanging down. We have seen plants featured prominently several times. This is very much more a, a modern look. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna play this. So if we look right here, we're gonna get into the picture frame customization. So as you can see, you can change the pictures, but you can also change the frame. We have seen this kind of customization before with Paralyze. And whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, so not only are you able to change the color frame, but I've seen these moves several times where you are able to change the shape of things and the size of things. This is a really a great feature that can really distinguish Paralyze from some other games. I really do like this. I think it will be really great for builders. I wonder how many variations we're gonna end up getting in terms of pictures. I'm not a builder myself, as you probably all know, but my oh my, you're even able to resize the photos within. Now, some of you are gonna say, Aaron, why are you getting this excited about this? I'm not in terribly excited about it, but I do think it's a really good tool for builders. So looking into this also, we are going to, looks like we're almost importing material. So maybe that's a sign of custom content being able to be imported. I might be incorrect on that. So we're gonna go back and kind of just play through this one more time. I don't wanna make this a long video. I just kind of wanted to react to this. Again, I already assume that you're going to be able to customize the color frame. That is really cool. I really like the resizing and being able to even do it in different shapes. That's gonna be so useful for different builds and really customizing your build. I do also love that you're able to change even the photo within the frame. That is really neat in terms of resizing. A Little bit more than I expected. So it says select a file from your desktop. Again, I'm kind of assuming it looks like you can actually import your own photos. That is really exciting and I'm sure gonna be really great for builders. I keep saying exciting. It's exciting in terms of build mode. Of course, it's not about the game itself in terms of the overall gameplay, but I still really like these updates. Moving on here, I just wanted to go back and make sure I didn't miss any clutter. I think we pretty much caught all the clutter here. I hope that they continue to do these videos because I think that updating people on the videos and just their general process is going to lead to more transparency and more continual interest in the game. But that's really all I have for you. I'm sorry if this was a mess of a video. I just wanted to do a quick reaction, really honestly, just to see what you guys thought about this. I always love seeing updates from them, even when they are just small updates. I think it keeps community interest alive. And if nothing else, even if the rest of the game doesn't turn out well, 
I do think it's a very least going to be a fun game to build in. And some people have already said that, and I do agree. So let me know in the comments below, what do you think about these new features? Would you use any of them? And what would you like to see next? And as always, I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.